the border, baby. South of the border, down Mexico way. That's kind of, that's kind of shit. <laughs> chord tones you're insinuating that you're playing over the five chord so all that stuff I played um, at the beginning here was just literally G D7 D7 back to G sorry these strings are so dead that there's actually spots of rust on these strings. Uh, I don't change my strings unless I absolutely have to. Unless they start really sounding bad like they are right now or they're not playing in tune, which they kind of are right now, I don't change them. Because it takes two or three days of playing before the strings actually get settled to where I can really feel uh, comfortable. Like they're, they're not bright and shiny and and uh, of course, here in East Nashville fashion, here comes the train on cue. Good thing I like the sound of trains because this is a very active track back here. Other than that, dead quiet neighborhood, um, no sidewalk. I got Cafe Rose and some bars right here I can walk to, but really peaceful, quiet neighborhood, man. But here comes the train. Uh, I got a drum shop right down the street. Um, <laughs> burger shack and a bunch of cool hipster shit but anyway uh wine bars going in over here i think um but uh <clears throat> anyway i live in a real secluded little back alley tucked in away corner so nobody's ever going to be able to find me here um which i really love but anyway getting back to this you know uh strings take a long time to settle in and i i, I just ran into a guy not too long ago he goes man i change my strings like every time i play like for an hour at my house the next time i pick up the guitar i change strings i thought Man, have fun with that. Um, but anyway, so uh, I love the sound of these strings when they get a little bit older and you've played a gig or two on them. Uh, and then, of course, if they start, you know, buzzing and playing out of tune or you get a lot of divots on your E string, which this is horrifying right now how many divots are in here from the frets. I got to change these before I play another gig. Um, but anyway, getting back to this, it's going to be a lot of jumping around here, folks, because there's a lot going on. We are so stoked for the Uncle Larry, uh, Tom B Bukovac. We're going to start using Tom Bukovac's real name, actually, I am, because otherwise nobody's just going to know who the fuck this is and who these re that, who is on this record. Man, it is so hard. I can't tell you guys how much we work morning till night every day of the week, including Sundays. Um waking up and just going like okay who do we need to call what list do we need to make how do we get the east nashville guitar club newsletter going how do we you know uh who's going to promote the gt and bukovac record who's going to be our publicist who's going to be our you know are we do we need to get a record label how are we going to put this out how do we get this record out to the world we need your help man we need you guys help um it is so hard to, to let me tell you how frustrating uh, slash amazing this life of being a musician can be for for me especially is um, I can only speak for myself but I think a lot of other people are feeling this I mean to live in a city like Nashville for 22 years and still have to work so hard every day to find the right people the music we know what musicians to call we know how to make music we know how to go play a gig we know how to go play a session but it, when it comes to this other part of how do we maximize, you know, the exposure, uh, the exposure for this record that we're doing that we're so proud of, you know, and I know guys in the music business, we all do here, great guys in Nashville, but it still presents a challenge of like, okay, well, they've been doing things on Music Row a certain way for a long time. You throw them something a little different, like, oh, now we're in the guitar world and that's a niche. And like, how do we do that? And how do we market this? And how do we do that? Man, it is very challenging and very frustrating, but but you know what we do? We don't give up and we keep working at it every day until we don't release this record, until we have the right people to promote it. But I'm just letting you know what it's like to just go through a little bit of some crazy 
um, just like keeping these businesses, you know, keeping this business going, the True Fire courses that are releasing. Uh, thank God I'm building a little team of people that can help me, but we don't have enough money to be able to pay people 80 grand a year to, to work in doing five and six different things. Uh, we, we're doing this, man, this is a, a labor of love and a very unbelievable network of people and friends and young people that I lean on to be able to help me, man. I mean, it's a lot. And I get old Guthrie gets uh, overwhelmed every once in a while, but, but man, um, I just, you know, what I do is I show up and I keep going and we don't let these things stop us. We're going to put this record out and, and hopefully reach as many people as we possibly can. We want to stir up some shit in the guitar world. We think this is the guitar record of the year. Wait till you guys hear this record. And same with the True Fire courses, man. I'm um, actually wearing their shirt uh, today, we're just out of coincidence. But we're uh, we're pre-selling the True Fire courses. I'll put those links below. Uh, I, we're gonna launch these two courses. There's a bundle going on right now um, and all that stuff. And um, <clears throat> anyway, a lot of talking here, but I'm gonna get into some good guitar shit here in a minute. This might be a little bit of a long video. But uh, somebody commented the other day, man, Jack's been sick. I had the flu for like a good week and a half. And, and me and Jack both weren't feeling great when we did that last video. And some guy commented and said, uh, go through on Coke. Well, man, fuck you. Uh, I've never done Coke in my life ever, ever. I don't even know what it does. And so, man, we, you know, we had allergies and we're sniffing and we're, we're coughing and stuff. So, dude, you know, don't say shit like that. I hope that was a joke. Uh, and if not, then man, don't, you know, that's not cool. Uh, so anyway, moving along very rapidly from that, I love you guys, the rest of y'all, but fuck that guy. Uh, anyway, moving right along here. So this is, this is what you can do with a, a one chord to a five chord and just getting these really simple, uh, chord relationships under your belt because they're going to be reoccurring in a lot of other songs for the rest of your life. So don't try to play along to a bunch of chord progressions that you're not ready to yet. Keep it really simple. You don't have to play a lot of chords to have a lot of cool shit going on. Um, you know, when you pick up the guitar, try to, it has to make sense. I'm seeing a lot of stuff on Instagram and stuff of guys playing and, and they think they're doing like this amazing finger style stuff and all this stuff, but it doesn't make any sense. It's not music. So you can make music with two chords. This little riff. <laughs> determines major right out of the gate, right? Five chord D. Uh, uh, watch this. That little riff right there out of this, you know. The G major scale and it's just how you use it so over the over the D this is all like to think melodically and what, what what's building tension okay here's my d chord watch this tension so uh this other kind of stuff here these little these little mexican um kind of mariachi band uh south of the border cuban latin licks i mean i love this stuff first of all uh and i know i'm fired up and i'm trying to give you a lot here because it's been a week or so since i've done a video so uh you just have to put up with with me uh i'm not on cocaine uh <laughs> actually i'm on waterloo this is uh, i drink these waterloos all day long uh, as well as some coffee here and there, but uh, somebody was asking what we were drinking the other day. I love this Waterloo, lots of flavors, and it's zero calories, zero fat, zero sodium, zero carbohydrates, zero sugars, 
zero protein, zero flavor. No, they do taste good, and it's like drinking nice a nice cold uh, soda or Coke or whatever you guys call it, but it's just a carbonated water, man. These are great. You guys get a little break from the talking there if I take a sip of water, right? How nice. Uh, anyway, getting back to this. So, you know, th these little things, these little tricks like this, you know. You know, uh, that's... Uh, uh, sorry, watch. Uh, that's... And then the harmony... together and that's coming from your a shit here we go with the cage system i hate they call it that but that's what they call it the chord inversions up the neck here's your a shape up to that shape it's all about triads man so here you go again um scale so uh, another thing you can do this is getting a little fancy here I was gonna show you this watch D7 G to, to D7 watch because watch this where's that coming from your D shaped G chord watch up to A shaped G chord melodies how the major scale works and then um i can also superimpose of course i'm gonna go here we can superimpose a minor over the d because that's a two five one so anytime i go right that's why i'm doing this stuff G that's just G G major 7 G6 then down to the 5 but I'm using I'm doing this little line right so it's G A minor down to D9 but that is all over D I'm not playing A minor I'm just playing 1 and 5 but I'm incorporating I'm getting up to these money notes, right? So then, um, so that's a cool little thing you can do, but you can also sup superimpose any two, five, one. cool stuff to the G. If I go D, 
That's all over D, but if I'm resolving back to the G, I'm just, you got to tweak your phrase to land at the right spot. Um, anyway, really experiment with just playing over the one to the five. Now you can play just D major. You can still incorporate A minor, the two five ones over that chord. It's just, you know, I like G to, to the D seven, you know, like. See what I was doing. Uh, you know, that's so much cool stuff you can just do melodically with these little just mess with those these are stuff you can do with a major g major to d7 um all right guys uh there's a lot more stuff i wanted to cover here uh as far as talking points um man just you know spread the word about this record with tom man it's gonna be really really great 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 record um and i'm saying that because i'm a fan of the music it's not a it's music it's guitar playing it's just gonna be fantastic you guys are gonna love it uh i'm gonna put the links to the true fire pre-order bundle courses in, uh, down below. Please check that out. One's called In The Jam, where I broke down 10 of my tracks and you can mute the, the guitar and the bass and the drums. You can mix it, you can play along. It's all tabbed out. It's everything that they do in their amazing way of, of having all this stuff so organized and presented in such a crystal clear, beautiful way. Uh, and the other one's a masterclass called Roots Recharge, where I just get into my style of playing. I'm not a country guitar player. Uh, I just like to play music. And so, uh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, uh, and I'll put the, uh, that link down below and then just, um, you know, have a great uh, weekend guys. Going to go hear some music. Went and heard Charles Walker last night. Got my mind blown by those guys again, Pat Burgesson. We've got the East Nashville Guitar Club Jam Session tomorrow, the Community Jam Session, uh, sponsored by Fender D'Addario, the Eastside Music Supply, East Nashville Beer Works, uh, all these guys. And so, um, that's an amazing thing. If you haven't followed that yet, get on Instagram, follow me and Jack Roosh and the East Nashville Guitar Club and check all that stuff out. I'll put all that uh, down below. Uh, thanks a bunch, guys. See you real soon. Much more to come. I just want to keep some stuff coming at you, but uh, we're just scratching the surface here, man. But keep it simple. Go south of the border and keep it simple, man. Don't don't try to play along to a bunch of chord progressions that, uh, that you're not ready to yet because it's just going to hold you back. Learn how to do these really simple uh, things first and hear these melodies. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye. <clears throat>